and this is me again back here when you look at the intentional parent and i'm the founder of the intentional parent academy and author of the best-selling parenting books connect correct the discipline that works i'm from yelling to come welcome back to my channel if you've just joining me for the first time you've just found me here whoa welcome thank you for being here with me please just look down subscribe to my youtube channel it's everything on parenting all right so you're welcome back here and we've been talking on day seven we are talking on challenges 30 day challenge on how well you know your child Hmm. So today we are looking at something very interesting. What was your child's biggest accomplishment the whole of last year? What do you think is one of your child's greatest accomplishment and how proud are you of them? All right, maybe it's not even just last year. The beginning of this year till now, in the whole of the lockdown, what's that biggest accomplishment that your child had made? Think about it. Do you know? Many times we don't even know what our children's accomplishments are, and we're just thinking, ah, do I, I don't even. You don't, because the children have, you know, so many things that are big for them. You know, you might not consider it big. For instance, um, our daughter's greatest accomplishment in this period is that she learned to bake on her own on her own right so she went on YouTube search out videos now she can make pizza she can bake cake for the records I can't do any of these things <laughs> I can't do any of these things yes and my our daughter is 10 yep you heard me right and she can do every all sorts of baking all sorts of cooking she thought I was in the whole room and um, I was in the home office you know right here and then and um, the, the, we needed to do some stew or something and I came out and then the stew was ready and I was on the table. She was the one that made it, put it all together and brought it out. The fact that she, could ma she can man the kitchen in this period is one of our greatest accomplishment. So you didn't find out what is my child's greatest accomplishment. What do you think is one of your child's greatest accomplishments and how proud are you of them? I'm really pretty proud that our daughter could do this all by herself. Yes, so this has nothing to do with how old the child is. Whether they are one, they are 60, do you know what that greatest accomplishment was for them? I, I didn't just assume that that's her greatest accomplishment. She actually had a conversation on it. So don't assume that you know. Have a conversation. It might just be that your child learned to ride the bicycle in this period and that's her, his greatest accomplishment. It can be anything. So don't assume. I'm sure that what comes to mind as a parent when you hear achievement is one big stuff like winning a contest, like qualifying for scholarship, or being tops of the class. That's not what we're talking about here. It could be as simple as our son learned how to barb. And for him, he said that, that this is his greatest accomplishment in this period, wahoo. A survey was carried out for some primary school pupil, right? On what builds their self-esteem. This is what they had to say. Having the men talk to them instead of yelling at them. You know, we have a video you can catch on that playlist. Why yelling is a no. We did a whole series on it. You don't want to miss that, please. The playlist is right here on our YouTube channel and you will see the whole playlist and you could play all of them you learn why you do not need to heal on your child. There are too many alternatives on what to do as regards discipline that we need to actually begin to look at things, you know, a lot more differently. All right? So when you you talk, when you yell, you actually crush your child's self-esteem. So this accomplishment we're talking about could be you also, you know, be limiting them. So you need to also think beyond oh no, um, all these accomplishments that they are talking about, I know, you know. So you need to actually look beyond that and begin to look at the small, small things. Your child's greatest accomplishment could be that you started to talk to them nicely, honestly. Your child's greatest accomplishment could even be that you started to read for them every night. You know, I, I usually, I said that the, the, the COVID lockdown did not happen to us, it happened for us, especially for parents. 
So we are now able to do a lot of things and be able to even understand who our children are. Another thing that that survey found out is having adults believe they know what they are saying to. So, you know, children, you know, you know, this is part of what builds their self-esteem. When we believe that, okay, yeah, is a child, I know, but they, they actually also know what they are saying. It helps them build their self-esteem. So imagine that you're speaking with a child and you're constantly shutting that child down. What you're going to end up doing is you're going to shut that child down, the mindset, the creativity, everything. So the child won't be able to think anymore. So that's what this is talking about. So the child's mind will be blocked if you do not give them expression. Give expression to the words that your child is speaking. What is your child saying per time? Please let your child speak them. Having adults believe that they, they know what they are saying can help build the child's self-esteem. It could be an achievement for your child in this period. Number three, having the ability to start and finish something without the help of an adult. Wow. This is one of the greatest things that you can, you know, do for your, help your child do. So this could be your child's greatest accomplishment. Like I said, not having an adult switch on the, the cooker for our daughter, switch on the um, help her cut stuff because um, she might cut her hand or something. Help her. No, have, having her do all that by herself is such a major accomplishment for her. So you will need to look beyond you know, all that and look at what is the greatest accomplishment. Forget the big stuff. Look at the very small things. It could be from you. It could be your child. It could be that your child has been able to pick up stuff if you have toddlers. It could be your, that your child has been able to take a step if you have toddlers. If you have a preteen, it could be that your child has been able to talk more than you know they usually will talk or something. Connect with you more. You know, the things in parenting are in the little things and not just in the big things. So we need to look beyond the big things and look at the very little things, right? Her son said that one of those years that his greatest accomplishment was learning to take responsibility for all his actions. So learning to take responsibility for all his actions was his greatest accomplishment. He said in that year, that was last year, he said, I was able to actually look at myself, make mistakes and own it. Wow. What can be more? It was, you know, so was mind blowing to us. We're not looking for the big things. We're looking for the little things that actually do matter. What is your child's greatest accomplishment? And then he also says that his greatest accomplishment two years ago was that he could play the keyboard. So now he could get on the keyboard, play good music, you know, that gives so much sound. So now you want to look at it and say, what is my greatest accomplishment? Yes. So take this challenge and share the comment, you know, the, the result in us in the comment section. Write in this comment section, tell us what did your child say is your greatest accomplishment? I would like to hear from you. I would also like to hear some conversations with you. If you couldn't have that, you know, conversation with your child, tell me and let's also know why. If there's anything that you think that I've said in this video that will help you in this challenge that you need me to share more on, please write in the comment section. Tell us exactly what it is that you want us to share on and I will do a video right here for you so that you will be able to learn it. Don't forget to share our videos with your friends because I say that when it comes to parenting, everybody needs to be on the same page. And if all of us are on the same page, it makes this journey better. Thank you for being here. And if you've not followed the challenge from day one, just look at this playlist, go right there. Take this challenge and every other days and begin this journey. This journey is gonna open up a lot for you starting from day one. And we're having this for 30 days. Remember to subscribe here. Do not forget to turn on your notification bell so that you will see these challenges as soon as they pop right in your email. Thank you so much for being here. Again, my name is Wendy Ologe. Thank you for being here.